So the first website that you should know is called fakenamegenerator.com. Now, I actually used this website a couple of months ago when I purchased the TiVo Stream 4K. Now, that device is not available in the UK. And even though I had it imported from eBay, when I tried to activate the device, it needed me to enter in a USA address. And this is exactly where this website comes into play. So when you go to the website, if I just click on refresh, this then basically generates a completely fake online identity. So everything from, of course, your first name, surname, but you have a, an address, you have your date of birth, you have your star sign. So if you do need to fill out certain details on websites or applications, and you don't want to give up your real details, you can definitely use this website and generate a completely fake online identity for you. And it doesn't just have to be American. So I'm looking for identity in Sweden. Let's click on generate. And this then creates identity for you. And you can also say that the name set should also be uh, Swedish, just to make it a little bit more authentic. Let's click on generate again. And I'm now Lars Gustafsson. So completely fake identity and very handy when you need to give up certain details, but you don't want to give up your own private details. So that's the first website. Next up, we have Down Detector. Now, this is extremely useful if you need to work out if the problem that you're having with your application or your service or your internet is local to you, or whether it's actually a general problem with the service. So if you go to downdetector.com, we can see right now these services like Comcast, like Verizon, uh, seem to have a spike in their problems reported. And here we can see Call of Duty. So, so let's say for example, I'm having a problem with Gmail. I can click on that. And here we can just see that the trend in the graph that more and more people are reporting a problem with this service. So now if I have a problem, I can click on this. Um, is my issue regarding login? Is it messages, is it attachments? And uh, let's just say it's uh, just logging in. And the application then logs that data. And we can see right now that 43% of people reporting a problem are all having issues with logging in. So it really is a great way to see exactly what's going on with your favorite applications. And they also have regional websites. So if I just change this to .co.uk, so I can now see issues in my country. Say so for example, we can see that typically Virgin Media is having issues. Uh, there's issues with uh, Netflix, uh, with uh, Fortnite. And if I go into that, I mean, this is my current ISP. And we can see that the majority of people are having issues with their broadband. So great website. And I definitely recommend checking this first if you're having any issues with your favorite websites or favorite application or even favorite services. Next up, we have 10 minute email. Now, this is a fantastic website and it will give you a disposable email address. So let's say, for example, you want to register for a new forum or you want to access a certain site and they keep pestering you, asking you for an email address where well, you can go to this website refresh the page and we now have a temporary email address here and this is a fully working email address if i click on copy to clipboard i can now go to my email application so i can now paste in that email address and let's just write this is a test from pcd uk click on send scroll down let's see if that email actually pops through so and there we have it guys so not only do we have a disposable email address we can even receive emails on that address because as you guys know on certain websites or certain forums for you to activate your account they sometimes send you an email address so with this website we can receive that address click on any link that's in that email and then fully activate your account so that's 10 minute email a fantastic website next up we have namecheck.com and in the current social media era that we live in it's very hard to get your same consistent brand identity across all of the different platforms. And this is exactly where this website comes in. So, so let's say for example, I want to create a new brand identity for uh, PC, uh, PC uh, doctor. And let's click on search. And we can now see that that name is available on YouTube, on Shopify, but for example, not available on Reddit, on Pinterest, on Twitch, on SoundCloud and so on and so forth. So, so very, very easy to use and a great way for you to see if your new brand identity or brand profile is available across the different platforms here. Next up, we have systemrequirementslab.com and specifically, can you run it? This application will allow you to see if your computer is able to handle or run some of the popular games that are out there. So here we can see some of the popular tests. So this is the new game, the Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Let's click on that. And we can now see that the minimum requirements for this game are here. And here are the recommended requirements. And let's back out of that. 
Here, for example, we have Call of Duty Warzone. Let's click on that. And here we can see exactly what the minimum requirements for this game and also what are the recommended uh, system specs. You can also click on uh, Can You Run It? This will then download a small applet to your computer, which will then do that detection for you automatically and tell you if you have the right CPU, RAM and GPU requirements for this game. So I personally don't like to use this download feature. I normally just go to the home screen, search for my game and I search for Red Dead uh, Redemption. Let's click on that. Here I can see now directly what are the minimum requirements. And again, what are the recommended requirements for this game? So great website, and this will save you a lot of time because you'll know exactly if a certain game is able to run on your current hardware. Next up, we have Noises Online. And if you do spend a lot of time working on the computer and you're looking for some background noise, but you don't want to have music, this website really has lots of great options for you. And it has a very, very basic layout. We get to see icons for the different uh, sound effects. Say so for example, we can see this is the creek sound. This is for a stream, uh, you have a waterfall, here you have some rain. So let's start with a bit of uh, rain, let's click on that. And I hope you guys can hear the rain sound there. Uh, let's now add in some uh, thunder, let's click on that. Okay, we should hear some thunder in a bit. That's a nice thunder sound there. Uh, let's also add in some waves. Okay, we've got some waves there. And lastly, let's add in some uh, uh, some frogs, just for that kind of atmospheric, nighttime, nature kind of sounds. But it really is a, a great website, guys. You have lots of different options. And if you don't particularly want sort of nature sounds, outside sounds, if you press and hold these, we can turn these off. You even have things like a coffee house. So let's click on that. Just for that kind of like a murmur that you have where people are talking in the background. So not too loud, not too disturbing, but just some background noise there. Uh, let's just turn that one off. So my personal favorites are pouring rain with uh, distant thunder and also close thunder and some frog noises. So that's my personal favorite combination. But it's a great website, very easy to use and really easy for you to customize and get your background noise exactly how you like it. And the last website we have is Screenshot Guru. Now this is a great website allowing you to take high quality, high resolution screenshots of any website or any tweet. So let's say for example, I'm looking at this one webpage some news. So if I now want to capture all of this into a single screenshot, I can click on copy here, go back to Screenshot Guru, paste that link in here, click on screen capture, and this should now connect to that website and create a high resolution screenshot for us. So let's see if that works. And there we have it guys. So we now have a high resolution screenshot of that entire page. I can now just do a right click on the image and click on save and then save and use that image as I like it. So that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. Please do leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these websites were your favorite or if there's any other websites I should be checking out, please leave a comment below. Really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.